Hey guys, Sasaurus here. Today we're playing Clash Royale, and so I need to give you guys a new a <coughs> an update on to what's happening in Clash Royale. So I have been, you know, doing some research because we are having a new card coming in, which is it show it showed a like sneak peek like yesterday, and today they released the name and the look. Right there. And now on my thumbnail you see a picture. I show up right now. It's basically a photo. It's basically if a leak a leak from a source that's really trustable because they've been leaking cards for like the last year. So there's a leak and it showed a it, sh it showed the magic the magic archer. But as you can see, the coloring is not right. Probably because the coding that was in the game before the, mag the Magic Archer came was probably... Th they probably thought it would be purple. But obviously, you can see in News Royale, they changed it to green. So, so yeah. And what happened, what, what, what I really noticed that, ha what, that I haven't been seeing with other YouTubers is that... There's an archer in the picture, and the archer is like okay, not not the archer, not the archer. It's the princess. So the princess is like, you know, she is like it's some sort of effect, like a stun or frozen effect. Now the magical archer, of course, is magical and it's a legendary. Now I'm not sure what arena he'll be in. I'm actually checking right now into like the existing arenas. I don't think he's in. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna be in any of the lower arenas. I'm guessing Electro Valley. Electro Valley Legendary Arena or Hog Mountain. Oh no. Yeah, Electro Valley Legendary Arena or Hog Mountain. Because those are like the available spaces left. That would be reasonable. And so. Let me just see something. No, he is, he is currently not in the game right now, as in, like, like, unavailable card. He's, he just, you know, sneak peeked that for the last day or two. So, what I'm probably guessing is he's doing some sort of, he's doing some sort of unique effect. Because you can see I'm not princess. It's, it's definitely blue. It's probably stunned. Or frozen. Those are the only things that we have right now. She's either slowed down or stunned. So, the Magical Archer says it is a legendary. It could be doing some sort of unique effect. Like how the Electro Wizard was doing when it first came out. Until the Zappies came out. And it could be the same for what happened with the Ice Wizard. Until other snowy cards came in. Or icy, I don't know. So, also in the picture, which you all you guys probably was looking at. There is another card. Now this is a leak, so it's not confirmed, but it could be coming. Because Clash Royale is aiming to release at least one card every month. Now the last cards I think they released was in December or November. And that means they released the, um, what is it? The Hunter and the Zappies. Now those are made up for that month and the month after. But it's February, so they owe us a card. So that, of course, it's Magic Archer. I'm thinking next month, March, the year, the second anniversary for Worldwide Clash Royale, they're going to release that card. People are thinking the Barbarian Log. I'm thinking it's a Barbarian Barrel. It's a Log Goblin Barrel combination. One Barbarian, basically a Barbarian, and a Log together. It will do damage as it rolls. And maybe it'll drop a barbarian. I I don't know. Barbarians are obviously too heavy to be to be chugged across the arena like the goblins. So we can guess it's coming something like it it has to be something like a log or something or it's to be useless. It's just throwing a really cheap one barbarian. Now those are my thoughts on the existing car or on the leaps on those cards. And we are also having a balance change. Now I'll go back to my screen and all on those leaks and the images. Now there's a balance update coming. Came out, they gave us the news four hours ago. Now you can see 
right there, top, top, the right corner. There's a new card. Now, if you go to the bottom, Magic Archer, preparing for the arena. So, this confirms. It's called the per. It's the Magic Archer. Now, we are having a lot of, of what is it? Um, what is it? What is it? Uh, we're having a lot of buffs and nerfs, especially with Knight, Mega Knight, and Skeleton Barrel. Now, Skeleton Count goes down eight to not eight to six for the Skeleton Barrel. Mega Knight spawn and, and jump da damage twenty percent less, twenty five percent less deploy radius reduced. So that means you know deployment won't hit beyond the bridge and river. So I so I used to always use a Mega Knight to take out a princess because you know he he his spawn and jump damage would always hit across the river. And now I th now I'm guessing it doesn't work anymore. Knight hit points reduced. I think I recall the knight being hit points in the hit points increasing as I'm saying before. The Inferno Dragons, which is between targets slower, which they actually made him switch between targets faster in the, in the, in, you know, nerfs before, but I think they now, you know, take it back. The Valkyrie hit speed is 1.5 seconds to 1.4 seconds. She will attack quicker, I think, now. Mana minimum di dash range from 4 to 3.5. I'm not sure if that's a buff or nerf. I'm guessing it's either a buff or... As you know, I think it's a nerf because then she has to get it closer to dash into her target. I don't know. Uh, Dark Prince, his speed is going to be faster and his hit points increase. And then the Magic Archer, preparing for the event, for, uh, preparing for the arena. So we can probably expect really cool things from that. So yeah. Now, before I end off the video, I'm going to open up a giant chest which probably will, will contain nothing. I'm just hoping for zappies. That's all I want. So, yeah. Let's open a giant chest. I just got it last night as well. Okay. Ooh, a bowler. Probably our only rare card. Okay. Goblin game. Zap. Need that. Ah, hog rider. Okay. At least the hog rider is going to be level 8 very soon. Oh, I complete my card collector. Can I get another one? Which I feel like epics are getting more common for me. But you look, I can get two more epics from these two quests. And I just got an epic. And I also got, I think, a baby dragon from a free chest. So, I'm doing pretty well when it comes to having my epics leveled up. My only lower levels are the cannon cards. And the hunter. Other than that, all of them are over level four. And then some of them are level five, none of them are level six. I think two of them can be leveled up to level five. Wow, baby dragon. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down what you think of the what of the magic archer and whether you think I'm right or wrong. Now. The, I'm guessing the challenge for the Magic Archer will happen right after Sudden Death Challenge. Which is going to be today and tomorrow. That means I'm thinking Monday, we're going to have a Magical Archer Challenge. And you can get him, get him for, for, I'm guessing, free and then after that, 100 gems. Like, they always do that. And I'm doing really bad so Sudden Death Challenge. First battle I do was too bad. So, yeah, guys. Bye.